my name is Nikki Sizemore of From Scratch Fast, and I'm excited to introduce you to the Ninja Foodi Dual Heat Air Fry Oven. Ninja's first countertop air fry oven that sears, crisps, and flips up and away. Plus, it's built with dual heat technology, making it perfect for searing and roasting at the same time. This innovative oven comes with three accessories. The sear plate is used for all roasting, baking, and pizza functions. It's thicker and heavier than a traditional Ninja sheet pan, so it's able to retain and deliver exceptional results at home. Now you can get added caramelization on roasted veggies and a perfect sear on proteins in a countertop oven. The wire rack is used for toasting or you can use your own baking dishes on it. Use the air fry basket for all your guilt-free air fried favorites. This accessory can also be used to dehydrate meats and fruits. There's also a crumb tray which will come installed in your unit. Before your first use, Ninja recommends hand washing all of the accessories and running a cook cycle with the air fry function on 450 degrees for 30 minutes. This will remove any packaging residue and odor traces. When you're ready to get cooking, you'll see that there are two modes on the display, dual heat mode and air oven mode. When your oven is in dual heat mode, it offers five different cooking functions. Sear crisp, which is perfect for searing and roasting thick cut proteins and hearty vegetables. Rapid bake, which is best for frozen foods and baked goods like homemade chocolate chip cookies. Griddle function is perfect for making quesadillas, grilled cheeses, or even French toast. And the fresh and frozen pizza function allows you to create delicious pizzas at home. In dual heat mode, all of the functions use dual heat technology to deliver restaurant worthy results in less time. Before cooking with any of these dual heat functions, it's important to preheat the sear plate alone. Make sure that all of the other accessories are removed, place the sear plate in the oven, select your desired cooking temperature and time, and keep the sear plate in the unit until the preheating is complete. Then add your food. It's crucial that you preheat the sear plate before cooking. If not, you may see over or under cooking. Something I love about this oven is that it was designed with a hook inside the cavity, which stops and stabilizes the sear plate in the oven rails. This allows you to feel confident loading and unloading your food in the oven. The second mode is air oven mode. The functions under air oven mode are your traditional countertop oven functions. Air fry, air roast, bake, broil, toast, bagel, reheat, and dehydrate. In air oven mode, the sear plate can be used as a sheet pan and does not need to be preheated before cooking. Just add your favorite foods to the sear plate and place it into the bottom rails of the oven. In air oven mode, use the air fry basket in the top level of your oven for the best results. Slide the wire rack into the middle level for toasting bread and bagels. If you want to use your own accessories, slide the wire rack onto the bottom rails. Because dual heat technology allows the oven to get super hot, it's recommended to use oven mitts that are rated to 500 degrees or higher. Thanks to the Ninja Foodi dual heat air fry oven, cooking my favorite foods is now a breeze. If you're looking for more information, tips, and tricks, visit ninjateskitchen.com and join the official Ninja Foodi family community on Facebook. The Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry Oven has up to eight functions, depending on the model you own. The air fry function delivers a crispy, golden texture using little to no oil. Use the air roast function to tenderize meat, roast vegetables, and more. Air broil offers ideal melting and browning to add a crucial finishing touch to your meals. With bake, you can create your favorite pies, cakes, and cookies, or a perfect pizza. The toast function makes up to nine slices of toast, as dark or as light as you like. With the bagel function, toast up to six bagel halves, just the way you like them. 
The dehydrate function gently removes moisture from ingredients to create snacks like chips and jerky. Keep Warm maintains your meals at the right temperature. To begin using your Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry Oven, simply press the power button and turn the dial to select a cooking function. Press the time button and turn the dial to set the cooking time. To adjust the temperature, press the temp button and turn the dial to your desired temperature. The unit will display the cook time in minutes and seconds, or hours and minutes, depending on the function selected. Press start, pause to begin cooking. When using the toast and bagel functions, press the time slice button to use the dial to select the number of slices. Then press the temp darkness button and use the dial to adjust the level of darkness. When using the air or bake functions, the unit will preheat and pre will blink on the display. Your Ninja Foodi digital air fry oven preheats quickly, so we recommend prepping your food before starting the oven. Once the unit has finished preheating, it will beep and the timer will automatically start counting down from your selected cook time. If you need to change the cook time at any point, you can easily change it by turning the dial. The light button allows you to easily check on your food while it's cooking. After you are done cooking, turn off the oven by pressing the power button. The hot indicator will remain on while the oven is cooling off. When the oven has cooled off and is ready to be flipped up for storage, the hot indicator will turn off and flip will appear on the screen. To get your counter space back and store your Ninja Foodi digital air fry oven, simply grasp the unit by the side handles and flip it up. For more information and recipes, visit ninjakitchen.com. This is Cuisinart's new air frying toaster oven. I've used this oven at home personally, and the one thing I love about it is you get really quick results without the guilt of using too much oil. So when you want to make things like french fries or chicken wings, it actually air fries them. So you get that really great taste from, that you would get from deep frying, but you don't have the heaviness from the oils. So let's look at some of the functions of the oven. Right here is your timer. It goes up to 60 minutes. It also turns on the, the power to the oven. So when you turn this, you'll notice it starts uh, ticking as, as if it was a timer. It also will turn the power on. The next um, dial here is your temperature control. So it goes from warm all the way up to 450. So this is your function knob. So you have multiple um, choices when it comes to what you're going to do. You have warm, broil, convection broil, toast, bake, convection bake, and then air fry. So all the way on the right here, this is your function for your toast. So you just turn this and pick whatever uh, shade doneness that you want, and that'll toast um, your bagels, your toast, your breads, anything like that that you're gonna do. And then all the way over on the right here, this is your function for your light. So let's look inside the oven. So in here you'll notice there's positions, different position numbers for what slot you're going to use depending on what you're cooking. Um, we happen to have the rack on the very bottom here. Um, you can um, put it either direction. And then this is your um, air frying basket and also your um, baking tray. And you notice the tray slides right into the slots directly. So you can use it with the basket or without. The other great thing I love about this oven is that when you open the door, um, as you're cooking, it'll shut the power off and then it'll turn right back on when you close the oven door. You notice the exterior of this oven is made out of beautiful stainless steel and I love that the knobs are right on top so they're easy to see and use. The other thing that's great about this oven is it has four heating elements on the top and two on the bottom and that makes it super efficient for air frying. It also has a high speed um, fan which helps circulate the air around your food as you're cooking. So it cooks very quickly and very efficiently but you get unbelievable results. There are so many amazing varieties of food that you can cook using this air frying toaster oven. The great thing about it though is it has all the conventional features of a normal toaster oven with the added benefits of being an air fryer. So, let's get cooking. 
So let's go ahead and use the air frying function of our oven. So today you'll see in the basket I've lined it with um, sweet potato fries. You can just use, um, do it so it's one layer. You could fit more in here, but that's plenty of fries for um, quite a few people. So all you're gonna do is put the basket inside the tray in this slot, number two as we call it. And what you're gonna do is I put this on for about 10, 12 minutes on the air frying function on 450. And just keep your eye on it because it cooks very efficiently. And if you want, you can turn the fries over when they're halfway done, but personally, I actually don't do that. Let's check on our sweet potato fries. I'm just gonna take, uh, pull the tray out a little bit and move the basket so you can see. But I told you I didn't add any oil to this. I mean, you can if you want, um, but look how crisp and brown they came out even without using any oil at all. I personally love french fries. It's hard for me to turn one down. So using my air fryer to make fries with very little oil if you choose is a great benefit. Next function we're going to try is our bake function. So one of the things that um, is really simple and easy to make at home, which people never think about, is homemade granola. It's also a lot more economical, and you can control all the ingredients that you put in your granola. So I pre-mixed all these ingredients together, and all you're going to do is put them onto the baking pan that comes with your air fryer toaster oven. Just spread it around really evenly. And I preset the oven on 300 degrees, and we're gonna cook this for 25 minutes. And you're gonna realize how simple and easy it is to make homemade granola just the way you like it. Let's check on our granola. So I just wanna mention that halfway through, I actually um, toss the granola around so it, it evenly bakes. See how nice and crunchy and uh, toasty brown it is. The one thing you can do, I'm just going to turn this off. Um, the one thing that you can do is you should let it chill, but um, I kind of like it warm right out of the oven. So what I'm going to do now is just take a little bit of it and put it right on top of my parfait. One thing about granola that people don't realize is that an average serving is about a quarter of a cup. So you have to go you know, don't go crazy on how much granola you actually eat in one serving. So the thing is, you let it cool off, like I said, and um, you can store it for use for later. But you saw how simple and easy it was to make homemade granola right in your air frying toaster oven. It's so simple and easy and it's delicious. So the next function we're going to use is broil and that's great for top browning and melting. Today what we're going to do is we're going to um, melt the cheese on the top of the sandwich. But the thing I want to tell you though is you're going to set it on broil for the function. You're going to choose the temperature of 450 and then what you're going to do is you can set your timer if you like. I'm only going to leave it on for couple of minutes because that's all it's going to take and it's going to melt the cheese and make it nice and bubbly and gooey and warm. So let's check on our sandwich. So it only took a few minutes for it to get nice and crispy and melted. Hopefully I won't make a mess out of this. Put it down. You can see the cheese melted really nicely. It only took a few minutes. There you have it. Next what we're going to do is we're going to convection bake some burgers and they're going to come out nice and brown and delicious but still be really tender on the inside. So to prepare our burgers, earlier I toasted the um, buns and now what I'm going to do is prepare the hamburgers. So first what we're going to do is take just a little bit of olive oil and baste um, the tops of the burgers. And then we're going to season them. So let's do this. Put that there. Just a little bit of salt. Now pepper. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my hands for this. Just make sure that you wash your hands afterwards very thoroughly. Turn them over like so, and then we can easily season the other side. Once again, you're going to baste. Just 
just very lightly. And that's going to help it um, get a nice uh, caramelized crust on the outside. So just like so. Put that down. Now I'm going to use the other hand for the salt because I touched the burgers with my right hand. So, so salt and pepper. I like a lot of pepper, so it's a little bit more. Now I already set the temperature and these are going to go for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to turn that. Everything else is already set for us. We're just going to take the air frying basket and baking pan. We're going to stick it in position number two, like so. Close it up and we're going to let it go for about half the time. So about seven minutes, I'm going to come back. I'm going to flip the burgers. We're going to let them finish cooking. So let's check on our burgers. So you notice when I open the oven door, the um, oven shuts off automatically. I'm just going to take this out all the way just so it's a little easier for me to flip the burgers and then put, put them right back in. So notice how nice and brown they are on the top. We're just going to turn them over and cook them the rest of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and top them with a little bit of cheese. And then we're going to um, let the cheese melt and then come back and plate them up. Let's put them, the burgers back in and let them finish cooking. So let's check on our burgers and add our cheese. I'm just going to, once again, remove the whole pan just so I can um, easily top them with the cheese. was a little generous with a couple of these, so I'm going to have to steal a little bit from this one that I put too much on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that pan back in the oven for a few more minutes and melt the cheese. So let's check on our burgers. I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to take the whole tray out. And this was Gruyere cheese, so it um, melted because it was like finely grated. Not the same as it would if it was um, American or cheddar or anything like that, but the burgers came out really beautiful. Let's put those on top of the buns that we toasted earlier using our oven. This is a great way to make um, these types of foods that you would normally maybe cook outdoors in the summer. You can do it right in your home kitchen. We're just going to top them with our buns. And here we used um, really beautiful pretzel buns today. They're nice and juicy and delicious looking burgers that you'd be happy to serve your family or friends. Just put this back in the oven. So what, what wouldn't be more delicious than these gorgeous, beautiful, juicy hamburgers that you made using your Cuisinart air frying convection toaster oven? Today we're going to use the convection broil function to make some artichoke spinach dip. And it has Gruyere cheese in it, so we're going to, it's going to come out nice and brown and bubbly on top. So I put the machine on 350 degrees, and we're going to do this for 20 minutes. And I put the um, rack in the bottom position, which we call position number one. I'm just going to put that like that, and then we're going to close it. I'm going to come back in 20 minutes and just say how gooey and cheesy and delicious our artichoke dip is going to be. So let's check on our artichoke dip. It's almost finished. Pull out the rack, and you'll notice on top, because we use the um, convection broil function, it got nice and brown, and it's going to be Nice and warm and gooey because it has Gruyere cheese in it. It's going to turn the oven off, close the door. So there you have it, spinach artichoke dip with your Cuisinart air frying convection toaster oven. So earlier I cooked these Brussels sprouts um, by using the air frying function, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to heat them back up by using the warm function. So all we're going to do is put the um, pan in position two. 
I already set the, the temperature on warm, the function on warm, and then we're just gonna put this on for about 10 minutes or so. Heat it back up and it'll be nice and warm and delicious. Let's check on our Brussels sprouts. They smell nice and yummy. They're not overcooked because we use the warm function even though we cooked them previously. The warm function is really great for a lot of different things, not just um, reheating Brussels sprouts, but if you have leftover pizza or you have um, bread that you toasted earlier and you want to warm it back up again, or if you have any type of dips or things that you want to just heat up just a little bit so they're not um, cold or room temperature, it's really great for that. So now we're going to toast our buns that we're going to use um, later when we make our hamburgers in the um, air frying toaster oven. So all we're going to do is to remove this, or pull it out. We're going to, um, I'm going to cook six of these, uh, three full rolls at the same time. We're just going to turn them like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on toast, on medium. And this is the uh, knob that you use for your toast function. I'm going to just put it on medium and it's going to turn the oven on directly. We're just going to wait a few minutes and come back and check on our buns. Let's check on our buns. So, they came out nice and toasty. I'm just going to put them right here and reserve them for later for when we make our hamburgers. So you'll notice it's, you can put quite a few in. These happen to be really large um, rolls, but you can put quite a few pieces of toast in to toast um, for your uh, breakfast items in the morning. It's nice and generous in size, and it came out beautifully even. So there you have it. That's the toast function of your air frying convection toaster oven. The new Cuisinart Air Fryer Toaster Oven provides you with a healthier, easy to use cooking method that provides great tasting treats with up to 75% less fat. Traditional deep fryers immerse your foods in oil for extended periods, resulting in oversaturated foods that can be hard to digest. The Cuisinart Air Fryer Toaster Oven uses a combination of hot air, high blower velocity, and four upper heating elements to prepare a variety of meals that are both delicious and healthier than traditional frying. Cook fresh veggies with 30% less oil and 60% faster when compared to oven roasting. And air fry your favorite snacks with 75% less oil than pan frying and 90% less oil than traditional deep frying. Preparing crispy buffalo-style chicken wings, hot and salty french fries, or savory pork chops has never been easier. Make any one of the exclusive recipes included in the recipe booklet or create your own delicious dish with less fat. When your recipe calls for a different cooking method, this toaster oven has got you covered. Finish sweet baked goods like cakes and custards as you would in any traditional oven and crisp frozen pizzas to perfection with maximum efficiency. The convection baking function uses a fan to circulate heated air around food as it cooks and is perfect for baked goods that require even browning like scones, cookies, pastry, and bread. Prepare meats or top brown casseroles and grottens using the broil or convection broil function and easily toast your breads, bagels, and hot sandwiches to the shade you prefer using the toast function for a quick and easy meal or snack. When you're finished cooking, clean up is a breeze as the entire interior surface of the oven is coated in durable non-stick material. Frying your favorite crispy foods with less fat, baking, broiling, and toasting, all brought to your countertop with the Cuisinart Air Fryer Toaster Oven. So let's go ahead and use the air frying function of our oven. So today you'll see in the basket, I've lined it with um, sweet potato fries. You can just use, um, do it so it's one layer. You could have fit more in here, but that's plenty of fries for um, quite a few people. So all you're gonna do is put the basket inside the tray in this slot, number two as we call it. And what you're gonna do is I put this on for about 10, 12 minutes on the air frying function on 450. And just keep your eye on it because it cooks very efficiently. And if you want, you can turn the fries over when they're halfway done, but personally, I actually don't do that. Let's check on our sweet potato fries. 
I'm just going to take, uh, pull the tray out a little bit and move the basket so you can see. But I told you I didn't add any oil to this. I mean, you can if you want, um, but look how crisp and brown they came out even without using any oil at all. I personally love french fries. It's hard for me to turn one down. So using my air fryer to make fries with very little oil if you choose is a great benefit. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers and this is our very popular Cuisinart air fryer convection toaster oven. Today what I'm going to do is give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to keep your oven fully operational and well maintained. So, the first thing I want to mention is, you know, the exterior is made out of stainless steel. Never use anything abrasive on it. Always use a soft cloth. I usually like to use a microfiber cloth. Use um, mild soapy water. What you can do is just, I'm just dipping it in this today, so um, it's easy to get a little on the counter clean. So you just want to use some mild soapy water and clean the exterior by rubbing it. The other thing is always do this when your machine is unplugged, like so, and also um, make sure it's cool. So after you wipe it down with um, the mild um, soapy water, I just suggest that you buff it so that it's dry, like so. And you can do the same thing with the front of the oven. So there we have that. And like I said, never use anything um, abrasive on the oven because you will actually mar the finish. So in the front here, we have our door. You can do the same with the, um, the window. If you cook a lot of greasy foods, it's really important to keep the oven clean because it'll work um, the best possible that way. So just same thing, buff it clean. Um, in the front also, you'll notice that this is the crumb tray. Always use the oven with the crumb tray in place. That's really important because it, it will actually collect any crumbs or drips from any of the food that you're cooking. So the same thing, wipe it with um, mild soapy water, dry it, always put it back in place. And the reason is you'll notice when you open the oven and the crumb tray is out, this is actually the very bottom of the oven. So it's important to keep this in place. So the other things that come with your oven are your basket, your tray, and that's what you're going to use to air fry. And then also your rack, which is adjustable. So you can put it on the first level or the second level. Another thing you should note too is it has numbers here one and two in the in the recipe book it'll tell you which rack to use for what functionality so the thing you should do is when you use the um, air fryer if you're doing anything that's um, a little bit greasy that you get some drips always soak this in hot sudsy water something that i like to do is i have one of those brushes um, nylon brushes and i actually use soap and water and i scrub this with the nylon brushes to get any food particles out. Never put this in the dishwasher because it's not dishwasher safe. And the same thing with the tray. Soak it because um, if you don't keep it clean, you will get some grease buildup on that. Now, for the interior of your oven, you're going to do exactly the same thing. Um, and this is really important. Um, never use any uh, abrasives again on the inside of the oven. The most important thing is to keep the walls clean for any grease spills or grease spilled up after you use it. Um, and then also the top of the oven, the very top where the fan is, you're gonna to wanna to keep that very clean also because it'll help in um, really good um, air circulation. And the other thing that it's good for is um, it'll make sure that you're toasting really evenly um, and consistently as well as um, baking and air frying. So you're just gonna dry that, same thing. Wipe the gasket here in the front. Don't forget that because sometimes you'll get some uh, some uh, spills on that and some residue. So make sure you keep that clean. And I have to tell you, I use my air fryer every day. I literally put almost anything that I cook in it. I love it because it's just me and my husband. But you can cook a lot of food in here. It holds three pounds of food. I like to do, let's say, 
uh, a protein and vegetables and potatoes and you can make a whole meal in one. So there you have it. That's how simple and easy it is to maintain your Cuisinart air fryer convection toaster oven. Today we're going to make breakfast. I'm going to show you how to make breakfast out of the Chef toast air right here. Guys, are you ready? We're having French toast sticks for breakfast. It's fast, the results are great, and my family loves it. This is like the ultimate all-in-one cooking machine. Look at that perfect bacon. I can make every single food that I love. Banana bread pudding. We're gonna bake it for 45 minutes to use a dual cooking function to finish off the bananas. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Not soggy. Perfect baked mac and cheese. I'm going to actually broil it and then air fry it. So we're taking the bite. Oh my gosh. But I have to say, there's no oil on these sweet potato fries. No oil. You know when food like talks to you? That's what's just happening right now. Put the wings in the basket. I'm gonna hit the air fry button and then I'm gonna let them go for 20 minutes. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The toast air is so easy to clean up. You just wipe it with a sponge. The interior is all non-stick. So easy. Ready for dinner? The hardest part is choosing what to eat. With full control from anywhere, cooking will never be a chore again. Quickly cook up any meal. No matter how hungry you are. Go ahead, try something new. The oven comes with everything you need so you can focus on enjoying the results. Oster digital countertop ovens are a great convenience in the kitchen because they provide all the options of a full-size oven and a countertop appliance that toasts, bakes, and broils. To help you cook even better, we went right to our team of experts to get you the hints and tips you need to whip up delicious meals and snacks right in your own home in your Oster digital countertop oven. Here are the basic settings for Oster digital countertop ovens that you need to know. Using the bake function. During baking, place the pan on top of the rack. The upper and lower heating elements will cycle on and off to maintain the desired temperature and may not glow throughout the entire cooking process. Push the bake button, then use the temperature arrows to select desired temperature. Use the time arrow keys to select desired time. Push the start button using the broil function. When broiling, the rack should be in the top position. Place pan into the guide rails below the rack and place the food on top of the rack. The top heating element will cycle on and off to maintain desired temperature and may not glow during the full cooking process. Push broil button until the word broil lights up on display. Push timer arrows to select the desired time. Push the start button. Using the toast function, arrange food on the wire rack in the top rack position. 
Push the Toast button, use arrows to select Toast Shade, press the Start button. Here's a note to keep in mind. Different types of bread require different settings. Lighter breads and waffles require a lighter setting. Darker breads, muffins, and English muffins require a darker setting. Some Oster countertop ovens offer the advantage of turbo convection cooking controls. So let's take a closer look at this setting. An Oster turbo convection oven circulates hot air within the cooking chamber with a fan. And because the heated air is circulating, the food tends to cook quicker and more evenly. To use turbo convection, push the convection bake button until convection bake lights up on the display. Use the temp arrow keys to select desired temperature. Push timer arrow keys to select desired time. Push the start button. Both heating elements will cycle on and off to maintain the desired temperature and may not glow during the entire cooking process. Here's an important tip from our Oster brand team to remember. On average, the turbo convection function will shorten the cooking time, but it varies by food. It's suggested to start with shorter cooking time when using the turbo convection setting. Check your food and then add cook time as needed. Baked goods in particular benefit from the turbo cooking as the circulating air keeps oven temperature consistent. If your digital countertop oven has the added feature of a clock, here's how to get it set to the correct time. Push the clock button, the clock will flash. Use the arrow keys to set the hour. Push the clock button again. Use the arrow keys to set the minutes. Push the clock button once more, or the start button, and the time will be set. While the timer function on your Oster digital countertop oven will turn your oven off when cook time is completed, you can also manually cancel cook time or shut the oven off. To cancel cook time, press the stop cancel button once, which will stop heating and cancel the function. To shut off the oven, press the stop cancel button twice to turn off the unit. And that's it! You just mastered the digital controls on your Oster countertop oven. Now you're ready to cook up all types of delicious meals and snacks for family and friends. See below for a link to download an information sheet with details discussed in this video. Introducing the Crisp and Bake Air Fry Toaster Oven from Black & Decker. It combines two kitchen appliances into one. All the convenience of a countertop toaster oven, now with air fry technology. The air fry function is so easy to use. Just fill the frying basket, turn the function to air fry, and set the time. No preheat necessary. You can make french fries, frozen snacks, cuts of meat, and more. While a deep fryer submerges food in high fat oil, the air fryer uses convection technology to circulate high-intensity hot air. This method adds a delicious crisp to your favorite fried foods, all with little to no added oil. You also get classic toaster oven performance with functions like toast, broil, bake at specific temperature, and keep food warm. Set the cook timer for predictable results or use the stay on function for longer cooking tasks. With the toasting function, use the shade timer to get the exact results you want. The crisp and bake comes in two sizes to fit your family's needs. Make toast for big breakfast, pizza for the party, or a full pan for family dinner. The larger model fits a 9 by 13 inch pan with handles, so you can use the pans you already own. The ease and convenience of a toaster oven, now with air frying, a healthier way to enjoy your favorite fried foods. You get it all with the Crisp and Bake Air Fry Toaster Oven, only from Black & Decker.